taking trips cuz i never tripped on what they said if you speaking from your heart and they say you're going for your head notifications plays a big role on how we use our phones it makes checking out what's happening across different applications easier and saves a lot of time but we often accidentally delete notifications missing out on messages and important updates i mean it happens with me all the time because once a notification is gone it's gone but folks do you know that there is a hidden feature through which you can reaccess all previous notifications you can do that by simply long pressing on the home screen to access the widgets then scroll down and select the settings widget then scroll down even further and select the notification logs option once that is done go ahead and open it up and here you will find a long list of all previous notifications with details stuff like chat details app updates call logs and all the important stuff that's been happening on your device is found right here so next time when you miss out on a notification you know what to do Now folks we all agree to it that Android does multitasking like no other OS. You can watch a video then browse the internet then instantly keep those in the background and start playing a game. Well that's well and fine but won't it be cool if you could do all of that together? <laughs> well you can. If you have Android version 7 nougat or above you can drag any running app from the recent application section and have them run side by side at the same time literally taking multitasking to the next level now you can say watch the video and play the game at the same time but probably the set of most hidden feature on android is hidden behind the built number in the about phone section found in android settings very carefully tap on the built number at least 7 times and you will find a new option magically appear in the android settings called as the developers option now folks most people who watch our videos already know about the developers option but don't use it much as there are tons of options here without any proper explanations so let me go ahead and break down some useful features for you like the animation skills found down the list can come very handy if your device is slowing down here you can reduce these three options to a lower value and what that does is it reduces the time android takes to move that is switch from one page or one app to another so essentially reducing those values gives you an almost instant performance boost to your device just like that Now folks further down the list you can actually limit the number of apps running at a time might sound a bit insignificant but it fixes the most important problem on android now folks since android makes closing an app harder it forces us to have multiple apps running in the background essentially eating up a lot of ram and battery now since we don't use more than 3 or 4 apps at a time it's a smarter option to actually limit apps to 3 or 4 at a time So what that does is it automatically checks and closes app that you're not using giving you a faster android experience but most importantly it will prevent your device from slowing down over time as you keep using it Now folks do you know that there is a hidden mode carefully hidden under the power off button <laughs> don't believe me try this out carefully press the power button on your device then very carefully long press on the power off option and a new android mode called as the safe mode pops up tap on it and your device will restart into the safe mode with no third party apps running in the background your device will instantly feel like the day you first got it very fast and snappy this mode can be accessed during troubleshooting say if your device is crashing or if there is a virus that's preventing android to boot then you can quickly hop over to the safe mode and uninstall the trouble causing app as simple as that now folks android recovery option is a very handy android feature that are not a lot of people know about and due to its functionality it's often made hard to access you will first have to completely turn off your device then press and hold a combination of hardware buttons that's different for different devices So check the description to find out how to get into yours. 
And if everything went right, rather than booting into Android, your device will open up the Android recovery options. Now folks, I'm running a custom version of the recovery, so I have a couple of extra options here, but more or less, you will find a set of really handy options down here. Like say you can hard reset a phone if it's not turning on by using the reset options from here. If an app is crashing your device, you can clear app cache from here. It also gives you access to the device storage so that you can recover data or flash a stock firmware in case your device is not turning on. So yup, that's pretty much it. If you folks like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to watch more exciting videos like this one, do subscribe to The Android Guy. So I'm your host HK with The Android Guy signing out and you folks have a nice day.